I was actually going to upload this video yesterday. No, sorry. Let me back up now. Let me back up. I was actually going to make a response video to what you guys were going to see yesterday, but then I started thinking of a different way of delivering it to you guys because I really want to change some things up on this channel. And while I was looking up different ways to deliver it to you guys, I found a new program for free called Hit Film 3 Express. Man, it saved my ass and it will hold me until I get my new computer. So I'm gonna be saving up money, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna be getting a gaming computer because it has like all of them high end specs that it comes with it anyway. But it costs like well over a grand, but yo, it's worth the investment. But anyway, I decided that instead of just making a response video, me just talking about the video, I said, you know what? Let me actually watch the video along with you guys since some of you guys haven't even seen this video. And then I will give you my response and reaction to the video on camera, okay? I think this will bring a different uh, 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 twist to the channel. It will get you guys engaged more because this video I'm about to watch was sent to me by somebody, by a subscriber. I think he's a subscriber, but at the same time I think he hates me. I don't really know, but he was basically laughing because the calisthenics specialist, as the guy calls himself in the video, basically got his ass handed to him by a power lifter, and I really didn't care because I was just like, yo, the better man wins. So again, I watched this video like 10, 11 days ago, which is when the video was uploaded, so it's not fully fresh in my mind, but I know there's something in the video that, that the calisthenics specialist said that kind of like made me, made me be like, yo, come on, bro, are you seriously, seriously? So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys enjoy the first episode of Simon Says. I'm going to tell y'all what Simon has to say about this as we watch together, so let's get into it. My name is Swamano, I'm 25 years old, I'm a pilot. Dude, this guy does not look 25. This guy looks at least, at least 35. Look at this guy showing up. Oh, I could bend the four plates. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm so strong. I'm 25 years old. I'm just joking, guys. I'm just being a hater. See, this guy. Yo, I lost all faith in this guy when he started talking. Hi, my name is Bertrand, 24 years old. Uh, I weigh 93 kilos at the moment. I'm a professional uh, calisthenics. Yo, what's 93 Specialist. kilos? It's like 200 pounds. Around 200 pounds. So he called himself a calisthenics specialist. Can right, you see? I'm going to message the other guys to show them that they, they should know that no matter that you do calisthenics, you can do any other sport. Because the muscles you grow by calisthenics, you're more stronger. No! Meant to just lift and break your weight. No! The most weight you must lift. Once you understand how to lift your own body weight, I promise you, you're much stronger than ever and you can lift any other weight. Are you. Did you really say that? That's when I lost faith in this guy and I didn't even care if he lost. First one is a very good athlete and I really respect him. I don't, I don't mind him talking smack though. Talk shit if you want. But damn! Like, it makes sense. I think I have a very good chance to win. But it will be hard. You See, he, he was being humble. This so guy's like... Is, I'm all under. I'm doing like some machine. You know? I'm the fifth. That's He's size over strength, bro. Come on. I'm all about. I'm going to show him why this. See, when you're about size I'm over strength, strength, you no, lose. Certainly. But now he's my enemy. I don't really like him. You know? See, the, I'm on the fifth. But you, you know? Before you realize, you know, I'll be a long way already. So you should get ready. You should get, you should train as fast as you can. You should get a game on because I'll be there. He's I'm talking smack. Baseball. See, I like that you he's talking smack, but he talked so smack and, and lost so terribly. And he said crap like, look at my body. I'm built like a machine. It don't matter, bro. Strength over size, bro. Strength over size. And the sad part is that I spent so much time. I spent so much time trying to defend calisthenics, and you got this calisthenics guy making us look like a fool. Dips with 40 kilos, 90 kilos, squats for 25. Are you guys ready? Ready. Look at this. You ready? ready. Embarrassing. Ready? Ready. Let's go, guys. Three, two, one, go. See right here. I'm like, okay, the power lifter won, obviously. Look at, look at 
McAllister. Man, just nothing. Lightweight, lightweight. See, at first I thought it was all about lifting like this. So I'm like, that's not even fair. The guy does count stimmage. But then, but then they went and did two calisthenics exercises. Yeah, two calisthenics exercises. And the power looks like better than I thought. You see the guy, the guy's struggling. The guy's still struggling on the bench. Strength over size. This is why I didn't mind. I didn't mind the powerlifter winning because the better man won. This guy pumped out all the reps on the bench and then went into the weighted pull-ups while the calisthenic specialist is still struggling. And the guy has no calves though, just like me. Powerlifter slash gym goers are gonna have a field day with this one. He's big as hell though. You guys think it's Royce? You guys think he's on steroids? Man, basic calisthenics with weights? No joke, bro. No joke. And then he's doing dips on rings. See, yo, honestly, this ain't no ordinary powerlifter. This is not no ordinary powerlifter. It's so sad to the point where the powerlifter is trying to cheer him on, like, yo, I want you to at least finish. He can't, yo, he's done. I felt that before. Where I do push ups and I just can't even do one more. Just like, and it's just done. It's done. Same with dips. And then they mocked him by doing legs at the end. <laughs> yeah. But the funny thing is, is he didn't even make it to legs. Look at 
that guy. Like, he's just wrapping out the squats. See, this is what I mean by strength over size. I never preach calisthenics over gym or calisthenics over bodybuilding. I preach strength over size. But I'm not going to be stupid and act like I don't care about aesthetics to a certain point. I just don't care about the size and being big. I just want to be a little bit bigger, a little bit, and have aesthetics, right? The calisthenics specialist in this video... He is, he's too big. He's, he's bigger than what I would want to be. But he does calisthenics. He's good at it. If it, was a, if it was a calisthenics competition, obviously the powerlifter would lose. You get it? But this is like more of a strength-based calisthenics uh, uh, tournament. Calisthenics and powerlifting. It's a strength-based. Dips and pull-ups, that's strength-based. If it was like muscle ups and, and handstands and flips, obviously the powerlifter will lose. But this calisthenics guy is saying that because he does calisthenics and does bodyweight training, he could do anything else? Come on. Come on. I was just like, I lost faith in this guy already. And then he ended off with the size over strength comment. Oh my gosh. Like, I knew he lost. Size over strength loses. And you guys should read the comments on this video. I'll link the real, the original video in the description. Every time I do a Simon Says video, I'll link the video in the description. It's something which is not your game. It sucks you out. It does. Yeah, yeah. Sportsmanship, man. If it was me though, I would have destroyed the power lifter. Push ups, dips. You know who people want to see battle now? They want to see Adam Raw battle somebody. But yeah, man. I like these videos. Like, I actually like these videos. I don't have any. I don't have any bias towards anybody. Whoever is the better man, the better man will win. I don't care about your aesthetics. I don't care if you just do calisthenics or powerlifting. Because you know what? That powerlifter was able to do some calisthenics, which is what I always promote, doing both. He wasn't a powerlifter who, only, who was only able to do deadlift, squat, bench. He was able to do weighted dips, weighted pull-ups. Not every powerlifter can do that, even though a lot, some people in the comment section are gonna say, well, that's, uh, powerlifters and bodybuilders can do any of that. That's so easy. It's not so easy, man. Doing weighted calisthenics is not so easy. And that was basic calisthenics. So oh, I, was, I would expect you as a bodybuilder or a powerlifter to be able to do basic calisthenics. Push-ups are like one of the first exercises that we do in our life. As well as sit-ups, doing, you know, freaking dips, doing pull-ups, right? Those are basic calisthenics. So I at least encourage you guys to be like that powerlifter. That's why I give my kudos to him, okay? I give my kudos to him because he was able to do both really well, right? The calisthenics expert, man, talked about his size and strength. Look at me, I'm built like a machine. Right there, I knew he lost. He lost all credibility. And if I were to choose uh, people to, to represent calisthenics, for sure would not be that person so i hope you guys actually did like this type of video leave comments down below suggesting what video you would like me to react to or respond to and i won't do this every single uh day or something like i still want to do every other week a series of fitness videos like bodybuilding calisthenics and soon enough hopefully parallel and calisthenics but at the end of the day I still want to do other stuff like this. I want to keep you guys entertained and engage with you guys more. So, so give me some suggestions, suggestions down below. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Done.